ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Better run! At this time, I would like for you to turn your attention toward the first base dugout. Better run. Alrighty, pals, listen up. Today, we're locking down our defenses by making it impossible to get past your guard. Cause we all know if your guard is weak, that means your whole defense system is weak, and when your defense system is weak, you become an easy target, vulnerable to all sorts of attacks. Now, who's gonna be brave enough and volunteer to help me teach all of you a cool technique? Um, quick question before we start Mr. B, what exactly qualifies you to teach jujitsu anyway? What the heck? Last time I checked, you're still rocking a blue belt. <gasps> yeah, and? Are you questioning my authority again as always? I mean, maybe just a little. But only cause it feels almost identical to this guy, who started a company after creating a few cybersecurity videos, and now runs around thinking he can call himself a chief Has security Armand officer. Gone crazy or something? <gasps> Sorry, Mr. B, but Armand does have a point, you know. I mean, just think about it. Would you actually trust a blue belt to run your entire security program? Fair question, Robert. But here's the thing: being a black belt doesn't automatically make you a great teacher. And knowing everything about security doesn't mean you know how to build a strong program. Teaching is about understanding fundamentals and knowing how to apply them. And that, my pals, is what I do best. Okay, well anyway, I'll volunteer. But I have to warn you, I've been doing just fine up to this point. And that's without understanding all of this don't let them pass your guard nonsense. I'm with Robert on this one, Mr. Blue Belt. I think to catch me if you can, Technique is a true masterpiece and it just happens to be my preferred approach TBH. Well, it's a really good thing your preferred approach doesn't matter at all here my boy. <laughs> and Robert, let's put that theory to the test and have you roll with mags today. You want me to roll with mags? I mean no offense Mr. B, but I don't think I'll have anything to worry about when it comes to my defense systems. Not exactly sure what you mean by that, but it sounds offensive, so you're pretty much screwed. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. I got my money on Mrs. B. Wait, what just happened? Warning, poor defense system detected. No way, did Robert just get tapped up by a girl? I'm shocked. Hold on a second, this is unfair, I wasn't even ready. Neither are companies when they get breached by a vulnerability due to poor defense systems. That's the whole point of having a good guard in the first place. So let me get this straight. You brought me all the way to the den. Set me up with this ridiculous metaphor. Just so you could make a YouTube series about vulnerabilities? No, but Mags is getting ready for her tournament. So I figured we could tap two birds with one choke. <laughs> hee hee, get it? Ready for another round? No, thank you. Bad enough I didn't just get tapped by a girl. I just got tapped by a mom girl. All right, since Robert just learned a very hands-on lesson, let's break it down for real this time. What just happened to him is exactly why vulnerability management exists. So you're saying vulnerability management is basically just like beating up Robert? Honestly, I'm okay with that definition. Close, but not quite. Vulnerability management is identifying, assessing, prioritizing, and fixing security weaknesses before they get exploited. Basically, keeping systems and people from getting wrecked like Robert just did by Mags. Very funny. So how do we know what's a real vulnerability, and what's just a false alarm? I mean if I had really been trying, I'm pretty sure Mags wouldn't have caught me off guard. Oh trust me, you were trying, you just couldn't do anything about it. Sorry Robert, but she's actually right on this one. And to answer your question, it's simple, if you don't find weaknesses in your system, attackers will. Oh come on Mr. Blue Belt, that's being a little dramatic don't you think? I'm pretty sure not everything gets hacked. Really? Wanna check how many companies got breached last year? Way to say it with your whole chest! And she's right, no system is perfect. If you don't patch your vulnerabilities, you're just waiting to get taken down. Just like Robert didn't expect Mags to tap him out, companies don't expect attacks until it's too late. Alright fine, but enough about what Mags did already. So we're talking about constantly fixing weaknesses. 
But how do you know what to fix first? I mean, you can't patch everything all the time. You're absolutely right, Robert. That's why every strong program must have the four key parts we spoke about earlier. Identification, assessment, prioritization, and remediation. Sounds fancy. Now say it again and try not to be so nerdy this time. All right, let's put it in jujitsu terms. First, you identify weaknesses, just like how we size up an opponent before getting on the mat. Then, you assess how dangerous those weaknesses are, like checking if Robert's defense was solid or if he was just pretending. Dude, it was a strategy, okay? Then, you prioritize which weaknesses to fix first. Just like in a match, you don't waste time on minor threats, you go for the biggest opening. And finally, you remediate or fix the problem like Mags did when she took Robert's back and choked him out. Fast, efficient, no extra steps, and then it's... Go to sleep, little baby. All right, fine, that makes sense. But it's not always that easy, right? I mean, some patches can actually break stuff, and some weaknesses don't really matter. What about that? Glad you asked. That's where the real struggle comes in. Some of the biggest challenges in vulnerability management are False positives Sometimes, a vulnerability isn't actually a threat, but it still sets off alarms causing unnecessary panic or confusion. Resource constraints Not every company or fighter has the time and money to fix everything at once. And let's not forget those people who think patches are just a scam. Hey man, I never said all patches were bad. Just most of them. And that, my friends, is another misconception, thinking you can just accept the risk and ignore certain vulnerabilities. That works until something really bad happens. Like what? Getting choked out by mags? <laughs> Alright, seriously, no more jujitsu comments, I get it already. Patching is always necessary. Good. Now that we've got that settled, who wants to go next? How about you arm on my boy? You want to give it a shot? Oh no, not me. My security model is zero trust. I don't even connect to the fight. Okay, that's fine for now I guess. But just know, you're gonna get tapped eventually. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Better up! At this time, I would like for you to turn your attention toward the first base dugout. Better.